everybody, Debbie Starr here, hopping in to share a quick uh, tip on when you're creating your uh, sales pages, your funnels, that you can quickly create a section and then save that section as a template. So what? let me just show you how to do it. And I'm gonna zoom out here just a little bit so we can kind of see the, the big picture here. So I'll make this really small. Um, so let's say that you have right here, this is a, te a testimonial section, and maybe I want to use the same formatting. I may or may not use the same uh, people, but everything here is, uh, I just want to duplicate this, but I want to duplicate this section in other uh, funnels and sales pages. All right, so let me uh, just uh, zoom back in here. Now that, now that you can see the one section. So now I'm gonna scroll down. I'm going to click on this section. I know I'm on the section because I've got the green all the way around it, okay? Let me just uh, zoom in just a little more so you can see it easily. So I've got the section and a quick little tip. I always like to uh, name, I don't name every single section, but sections that I need to do work in or I'm going to refer to quite a bit, I will name that section so it's not just generic names. So this is my testimonial section. Now, as I mentioned, what we want to do is save this as a template so that I can bring it into another funnel. How do I do that? So I am going to actually save this. Uh, you can save it as a global which means if you had it on all of your pages within this funnel, but what I wanna do is save it as a template. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if we come up here to the top left and notice the little plus sign where it says to add elements, I'm gonna click on that and it opens it up. Here's where all my elements are. But if you'll notice down here, uh, here's our sections, rows, elements, global sections, and then section templates. So if I click on section templates, here are all of the um, templates that I have saved up to this point. So if I had one that I'd use someplace else, I could just grab that and drag it in here. If I come up here to the top and click on the layers, Here's all of my, and this might be closed, the page. So you just click the little carrot to open it. Here's all of my sections. And remember I said, I like to name my sections, the ones I'm gonna be referring to. So here is my testimonial section that I'd already saved. And if I click on the three dots, notice what I could do. I could save this section. All right, and then I give it a name. Now here's another tip, especially if you um, are working in a lot of different funnels. I always like to, and if you're bringing in templates maybe from other people, all of my uh, assets, I start with my uh, business initials, start consulting, and then I give it a name. And if this is a particular uh, funnel and I have an acronym assigned to that, I would put that acronym on it also just to remind me um, what it is, okay? So my uh, SC for STAR Consulting, uh, you can even, uh, if you wanted, put little emojis so that it really stands out so that you can find it quickly. And then where it says add to, you can either make it a global section, meaning if this was like my footer section that I wanted to add to every page to this funnel, I would save it as a global, but I'm going to save it as a template and then save. Take it a second and now it's saved. Okay, now let's pull in that section onto another page. So I'm back here in my funnels, but instead of my sales page, I'll go to the squeeze page and let me edit that. And let's say I wanna use that same testimonial section. So 
up here, if I click on the plus and go down to section templates, now here's, here's the deal. I don't know if it's a bug or what the deal is, but it looks like there's just a few uh, sections that you've saved. But remember I said, I always start mine with my initials. So when I did that, then here's this section that I just saved. So I'm just going to click and drag it over. And there it is. Okay. So um, in this instance, I'm not going to say this. I'll just go back. In this instance, I was in the same funnel. I was just using a different page, but it's the same um, theory. I could open up any funnel that I wanted and I could go in and I could add that section. All right. Hope that helps.